We've had auto track turn automation now for everything but sprayers, which is the capability for the machine to turn itself around at the end. But what is the groundbreaking news today, Troy? We're going to have them for sprayers finally. So, yep. Right. It's going to be released with 25.2 software, which is going to come out here in a few weeks in June. So, if you have that good boundary in there, that high quality where I'm this ready boundary, you have your headline set up, you're already used to ETTA. It's going to be one more great feature to utilize in those new sprayers. So this is going to be compatible with pretty much all Mollier 22 and newer 6R and 4R series sprayers. So the reason for that is those new sprayers with that new cab, they have a different steering controller. They have that new style ATX controller versus the old SSU. So that's why there's a break there. So we need that newer steering controller. What precision egg? hardware components are required for that. And for displays, we'll need a G5 with advanced license or a Gen 4 with a automation activation to utilize turn automation and those newer sprayers. It's gonna be for pretty much turn only. It's not going to control speed or boom yet. But that's kind of the same thing we have with combines right now too. So, which we did find that guys, even though it doesn't do full control of the combine yet, even just having that simple guidance turn of it makes life just a little bit easier. And one cool feature they came out with it too is the ability on your headlands to actually follow those headland passes. So if you're utilizing auto path from rows or from boundaries, there's actually an option in there for that sprayer to actually follow the lines of the headlands. So say if you have kind of a curve in your headland, this will actually follow that curve of the headland and then go to the turn. So that's a very cool feature.